Today's secret is about the differences between the i300 Pro and the i300. The first and most obvious difference between the i300 and the i300 Pro is the touchscreen. The touchscreen can be used to navigate, it can be used to scroll through list items and of course it can be used to edit certain things. The second obvious difference is this chart. You can see it very nicely when a distillation is running. For example, this one would be the rotation speed. On the i300 Pro there is this chart, on the i300 there is no chart. The same applies to the app. The third difference is the recording possibilities. On the i300 Pro we have this SD card slot which allows us to record the distillation. The fourth difference is the solvent library. We do have a solvent library on the i300 as well as on the i300 Pro, but there are some differences. First, if we have a look into the solvent library, we have fixed programmed solvents over here. We can do the same over here, we have fixed programmed solvents, but on the i300 Pro you, you can see the calculated vacuum for this solvent and the boiling point for this selected solvent. In addition, on the i300 Pro, we have something called the own solvent library. So you can add an own solvent anytime you enter the solvent name, the boiling point and the B constant. This solvent you can add to the favorites menu as well. The fifth difference is the operating modes. On the i300, we have manual, timer, pump continuously, auto test and dry. On the i300 Pro, we have exactly the same, but in addition, we have the methods. The function of the methods we do explain in a different Rotovapor secret.